Hi everyone. Today I just want to share with you one of my sourcing tips and it's probably the best thing that I ever discovered how to source. Um, used to go to Goodwill a lot. Not too thrilled with them. There's so many people shopping them. The prices aren't great. Um, I, I just don't do well there. Once in a while I find something but I don't do great there. Um, tag sales are hard for me because I babysit my grandkids and I'm a gardener, so mornings I don't like to run out and stuff like that. So I try to find deals where I can pick up a whole bunch of stuff at once. And if you follow my channel, you'll see that I bought out daycare um, a couple years back. That took me a while to sell. I had so much stuff. I'm actually still selling stuff from there. I made my 200 bucks back, I think, just on the Barbies and a few of the things like that. Unfortunately, I'm still stuck with a few of the things like high chairs and baby furniture. That stuff doesn't go as well. Um, but anyway, I like to source by finding an abundance of things at once rather than running from one tag sale to another tag sale to a thrift store to Goodwill. It's just easier for me. So anyway, I scope Facebook and I try to find things on there where people are having sales or something. And this weekend, Memorial Day weekend, I found someone had posted um, household full of items free. And she posted some pictures and there was furniture and dishes and books, boxes of books and crock pots and all kinds of stuff like that. And some Pyrex. And I thought, okay, well, I'm going to message her and ask her if she'd take $100 for everything. Now, she had offered it up for free. And over 200 people had liked it and commented and were ready to go at her place and pick this stuff up for free on Saturday morning. So I messaged her and I said, rather than having to deal with all these people and then having to deal with what's left, would you be interested in me coming and giving you $100 and I'll take everything there? And a few minutes later, she messaged me back and she said, are you serious? You would take everything? And I said, I will. Even if there's things I don't want, I'll discard them, I'll whatever. And she said, okay, um, that's a deal. So I had trouble rounding up people on Memorial Day weekend and got my husband, my awesome 17-year-old son, a couple of my daughters, and my grandson. And we worked 12-hour days. Um, but we got to the, I got to the condo um, to see this place. And first, before I went, I did talk to the woman on the phone and she explained to me that it was her her mom who had passed and stuff like that. So anyway, I went to the condo um, and met her and had a couple of people following me ready to clear out. And um, it was three floors full of stuff. A basement, the main floor, and the upstairs floor. And I'm talking stuff, like furniture, books. And when I say books, I'm talking easy 10 20 boxes of books. I don't even know. Um, lamps, several lamps, at least six. Um, exercise equipment, stair steppers, dishes, all the small appliances, um, clothing. There was seven wardrobes of clothing downstairs and two huge closets full upstairs and the bed was covered with clothing all on hangers. It was just unreal. It's something I'd never seen before. Um, and then the lady told me I could have it all for free. She said, you are like an angel. You're helping me out. Um, she was from out of state. She said, if you could just take this and you'll get rid of everything. So she left the keys and gave, I asked for a note saying that she had given it to, all to me. So I had no trouble with the neighbors or anyone. And it took us three days to get it out. But I am going to have so much stuff. It's just crazy. So let me show you what I have. Are you ready to see this? I'm not sure you are. It's crazy. Now, let me just explain to you before I show you. This is my eBay, Poshmark, my reselling, my, my area down here. It didn't look like this before this weekend. You can't even see the furniture down here. I can't even get to list to my to my thing. I've been trying to clear this one corner over here all morning. So I can, I have to ship stuff. It's like, I have to get from way over there to here to ship stuff. So 
Let me, I just had to do this video for you first because people are always saying, talking about their death pile and how big it is and they want to go sourcing again. I thought my death pile was already big and it was only two bins full of stuff next to my, underneath my photo table and then one pile, one little pile of stuff. And I had already decided I wasn't going to call it my death pile anymore. I was going to start calling it my money pile. I saw some other woman in a eBay group on Facebook and she refers to hers as her money pile. And I thought, I love that. I'm just, I asked her, can I steal that? And she said, certainly. So I now call this my money pile. So if you look at it like that, I'm a rich woman right here. And these uh, clothing, before I show you, they're all name brand clothing. It's not Walmart, Target clothing. Um, no, no boundaries or any of that kind of stuff. This is name brand clothing. I think the cheapest stuff I've seen is like Danny and Nicole. Um, so let me show you. Oh, that's not true. There is one bag with a pair of pants in it from Walmart with the tag, <clears throat> excuse me, Lee jeans with the tag still in it. I mean, with the receipt still in it. I think someone bought them for her and left them there for her. They just sitting there. So anyway, um, let me start showing you this stuff all for free, guys. Let's see if I can flip my camera here. Okay. So, this is generally where my where I print my labels. This lamp, all this stuff right here, ironing board, all these clothing. Can you see it? Sorry if I'm moving around too much. That vacuum, all that stuff, all this clothing, books. And yes, I took the hangers. These are my glasses. Yes, I took the hangers because... There are seven wardrobes, and I'm going to hang it all up. I had, see that closet back there? That's where I was previously keeping all my hanging things that I didn't want to put in bins and wrinkle. And now this stuff is never going to fit. So this is all stuff I got. And it's this is all books. This is china. I have these old bottles of the wine we're in. And I looked them up, and empty they sell for 35 bucks a piece, and they're dirty. And I have a case of these. I think it's six or eight of them in the case, and then another little brown jug. So I'm going to wash these up and enlist these. But these are all, all look, I got a steamer. I already bought a steamer. I have a steamer of my own, but I get, now I got another steamer. Here's some clothing. Carol and Taylor. Taylor. So there's all these clothes. Okay, now look over here, guys. Are you seeing this? Look at all this clothing. And underneath this, there is a chair. Right under this pile, there's a chair. Believe it or not. Okay, all these bins are clothing. This huge pile behind me is all clothing. In here, it looks like dishes, cuisine art stuff, books. That bag right there is shoes. Got lampshades. I'm gonna try to step over this stuff. So clothing. The books on the shelf behind that are that's was my books before. Shoes. Shoes. Kitchen stuff. Appliance. Christmas stuff. These are uh bookcases i got the china closet the, the, the table i got the chairs i got another hutch i got rid of a whole bunch of stuff already recliners and sofas and i threw out the mattresses and box springs and yeah i have see this rack right here this metal rack there was five of these and then two other ones that are, they have the plastic covers and then there's another one that has a complete big vinyl cover. Um, I think there's seven or eight, nine wardrobes all together. These are cushions that go on a Lane Cedar Hutch. All these prints. All this artwork. It's just crazy, the stuff here. 
guys. So yeah, all this stuff came. I'm talking artificial flowers. But when I told the lady I'd take everything, I had to take everything. I had to take the cleaning supplies out of there. I had to take personal stuff out of there. I am going to mail her a couple of personal items that I did find. These are all garbage bags. They're all full of clothing. I can't even begin to tell you how many of those are, there are. And this isn't even the, the tip of the iceberg, guys. This is just what I could squeeze into this room. My husband had to take the lawnmower and some of his stuff out of the garage. That's full of furniture. My son had to take his quad and go-kart and bike out of his shed. That's full of boxes of books and furniture and stuff like that. Desk is out there. So yeah, this is all stuff that came from the condo hall. It was all free. You got bookshelves, you got metal boxes, picture frames. Let's see what's in this bin for you. Christmas stuff. And some of it, yeah, some of it I'm not going to make much, much money on. I'm going to get, you know, be five bucks here, whatever. Um, but that bread and butter keeps the money coming in. Got a crock pot here. There's, a, like I said, a couple cuisine arts. There's a blenders. There's, there's a lot of stuff here, guys. But today I'm just trying to get to a pass so I can get my stuff shipped. Because I got to keep up with the ship and I got to get this stuff out of here. Um, and then I'm going to work on getting my wardrobes all up and the clothes organized by category. Coats and sweaters and all that stuff. So what do you think, guys? It's just this will this will make me some money and keep me busy and I don't have to run around to Goodwills and thrift stores and tag sales. I have clothing, I have books, I have household, I have art supplies, I have furniture, you name it, I have it. Go get yours. Look on eBay, I mean, look on Facebook, look on Craigslist, check your local newspaper. People are looking to get rid of stuff. If you find tag sales, go to a tag sale sometimes, especially on a Saturday or a Sunday when they're closed and getting ready to close. And if they still got a lot of stuff left, say, if you want me to save you from picking all this up, I'll give you a few bucks and, and uh, take it off your hands. But make sure it's stuff that you're going to get like I, some money for. You don't want to take a whole bunch of plastic bowls or something like that. Make sure it's something you're going to make some money on. Okay, guys. Wish me luck in getting through my money pile. That's what it is. It's a money pile. This is a huge, huge pile of money, guys. Man, I just can't even believe it. I was, I was totally blessed with this haul. So, got to get to listing. Let's see. I mean, there's no Prada here. No Gucci that I've seen. I'm not saying there's not. But there's stuff here. This is Sag Harbor, which isn't an expensive brand. But it's not a poor brand. Um, there's stuff here still with the price tags on it. A lot of stuff. With, it's not a Sag Harbor. Um, I think when, when the woman bought something, she bought it in every, every style and color they had. But yeah, I, I saw a lot of stuff, but still has the, the price tags on them. So what do you think? Is it something you'd do? Leave me a, a message in the comments and let me know if it's, if it's something you do. If so, go out and get yours and let me know what you find. Take care. Have a nice day. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Take care. Bye.